So, so, uh, so if you want to use this book, uh, let's say for more than just a reference, uh, can you offer some maybe uh, best use practices, you know, for all levels of Bible readers? So, you you know, you just know, you just noted that you made various discoveries and that sort of thing that were, were helpful. So obviously, if you want to use it, then more than just a reference, what what kinds of things do you think you people should be considering? I, I think I think you're right. Uh, there's really two ways to use our book. You know, first, one could read through it slowly and and steadily cover to cover. And, and, and personally, uh, I think that's what I would have tried to do as a reader, because I love biblical theology and I would have wanted to trace biblical theology through the entire scriptures from beginning to end. But we realize that for many, reading through, you know, 750 pages of, 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 of quite a bit of detail may not be feasible. And so then the second way to use our book would be to use it, uh, as you mentioned, Tony, as a, as a reference tool and to turn to, you know, our treatment of whatever book people are currently studying or, or teaching on or pastors preaching on. Uh, either way, I think our we hope our biblical theology will be helpful and illuminating uh, as our readers study scripture inductively. Like I said, I think biblical theology is a great way to study the Bible. So hopefully we whet people's appetite and maybe even introduce some to study the Bible in this way for the very first time. You know, I we both have a heart for the church. And so uh, we don't look at this merely as an academic work. And one of my uh, greatest joys is to to see some of the Amazon reviews, for example, uh, you know, by people maybe who had never heard even the the, the term biblical theology before. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think they're the two main uses. Um, feel free to read it cover to cover. Like, I think that would be a, a great little um, task for a pastor who has, you know, an official or unofficial little sabbatical, uh, you know, just to refresh mm -hmm. themselves. Um, I think that would be really helpful because who, who knows what part of this book is going to be most helpful to an individual reader, but um, uh, not just pastors, but those leading a, um, a Bible study group in their home. You're going to study Ruth, read, read our, our chapter on Ruth, just to give you an orientation, mm -hmm. just to supplement maybe the Bible study notes that you're basing your, your studies on. Uh, yeah, so both kind of uses. So, so I, I, the book is designed uh, with both those kind of uses in mind. And, and 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 from that viewpoint, I think it's pretty user friendly. You don't have to be daunted by its size. Like it 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 did turn out to be a sizable volume. If I, as I've been telling people, a great book on a windy day uh, to stop <laughs> the door slamming. But uh, hopefully people won't just use it for that. So it is a big volume, <laughs> but it's user friendly because uh, it's well indexed. Um, mm -hmm. It's clearly divided. People can find the particular book that they have most interested in at, at the present time yeah, that's right. it, it was uh it was great because uh um for um my wife and my children's bible time for when when i'm not home is they're they're uh, listening through the bible and so they're they're coming to me with questions without me refreshing uh, myself on all right uh you know a, a second uh, chronicles uh, i have to remember okay what period of history is that uh, this this book will will help uh refresh that and so i was flipping through there and and seeing what points and i was like okay it's not the the hacking of the prostitute that's in judges i can i can skip uh that explanation for right now uh to a seven and a five-year-old but uh but uh it, it was a a great uh a great tool uh to use just in um family devotion and and it's it's uh is something that um that uh we're reading through luke as as a family as well that i can kind of um go through and and see where two learning scholars like yourself have have kind of uh put uh, certain plot points uh in so that i'm uh sure to uh to focus on them and and to to talk about uh not just these are the things that jesus did but these are the things that jesus did and now we as uh, as as bible believers as, as christ followers uh were uh expected and we we are pleased to want to do and so uh i've i've, I've viewed that as a, a great tool just for for laymen such as myself uh so mm -hmm. so hopefully uh, uh people will get the same same um um value uh, uh out of it uh, but uh but just uh just i mean it's 66 books that you're writing a, th a three-part commentary on 
the, 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 you guys could rip out the first 67 pages, publish that its own book as a great little pretext. I'm, I'm already uh, ordering Dr. Goswell your, um, your book on paratext. Cause I hadn't even considered the, the way that books are placed or the gospels are, are, are collected would have any impact on, on just us as a reader. And that just probably shows my ignorance as a, as a Western, uh, 21st century, uh, male person. Uh, so, no, uh, so Patrick, I not, that. not ignorance. Um, as I say in that book, often you don't notice something, even if it's staring you in the face until it's pointed out, it's just what we're <laughs> like as human beings. So, you know, thank mm. you for ordering that book. Please, please spread the word. Yeah, <laughs> no, absolutely. Uh, you, you have a, a lecture on, on YouTube that I also want to check out, uh, that, uh, you were a guest uh, lecture on. So, um, I'm, I'm uh, excited to, uh, to, to pick that up. Mm. Well, again, uh, gentlemen, I, I greatly appreciate you uh, getting a hold of us, uh, 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 handing over your, your work for the past uh, several, uh, uh, I, I don't even want to put a number on it because you've, you've, it seems like the, what you've written about has, has um, kind of led you up. And I think you would agree led, led you up to kind of this point. And, and, and uh, we see that, uh, uh, the, the, the truth of, you know, if, if every man is a, is a, uh, a, a poet and all the, the ink was in the ocean that, uh, we'd, we'd probably run out of, uh, uh, ink and poets before, before the Lord comes again. So, uh, we appreciate your time and, and, and your work in, in this. Thank you, uh, Patrick. And if I may add just one final word, uh, we really want ourselves to be whole Bible Christians and we want to help other people be and become whole Bible Christians. It's so easy to pick and choose, you know, and to have your favorite books. But there's a reason why we have 66 books in our Bibles. And so maybe one thing our book can help people do is fill some of those gaps, uh, uh, books maybe they've never read, you know, and maybe they discover the significance of those books for their lives for the very first time. Wonderful. Well, again, uh, the uh, title of the book is Biblical Theology, a Canonical, Thematic, and Ethical Approach. And uh, all the links for uh, this will be uh, included as well, as well as uh, ways to check out other works from uh, the two great doctors here. And so, again, we uh, appreciate you uh, coming on. And uh, uh, the invitation is still open anytime uh, you guys want to hop back on or just to, to chat. We'd, we'd have you at any moment. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. no, thank you, Patrick, Tony. Thank you so very much.